I'm Mary Halverson, and my new album is called Bending Bridges. It's been really important to me to have uh, a unit that I'm working with, to have a long-standing band. So I started out with the trio, um, and then I've, I've added horns to that, but it's important for me to maintain the same members of the band and to really work together to develop a band sound over time. I think a lot about balance. I don't want to hear just, the, you know, really beautiful melodic stuff, and I don't want to hear just scrapes on the guitar strings. So I like thinking about integrating those elements. Yeah, I think I have a wide range of, of interests musically. I mean, as most people do, but, uh, but in terms of playing, in terms of listening and playing, I like to try to incorporate all those things because um, it's just what I like. I enjoy music that has some different elements and that you know, hopefully keeps you guessing. I met Chess in 2004, probably, um, and we hit it off right away, and we've been working together in a lot of different groups since then. Um, I work in his band as well, um, and he's probably one of my most, if not my most, frequent collaborator. John Hebert was somebody who's playing I had admired for a long time. I had heard him play with Andrew Hill's uh, last group. At one point, I was just like, okay, this is the guy. Well, I've, I've been listening to a lot of jazz at the time, and, and I was interested in, in sort of small group jazz, quintets, sextets, and, and I, I was interested in the harmony and the interactions between the horns, and I, I was just kind of curious if I added horns to my trio, what, what that would be like. I like the idea of having alto, saxophone, and trumpet instead of tenor because they were closer in register, and I thought it would create some interesting blends, and I could have a lot of weird close-knit harmonies happening. John Aravagon I have known for a while, I guess just through friends, and I've heard him play a bunch, and I'm a big fan of the group, mostly other people do the killing. Um, and I just, I heard his sound in it. I, I, I think Aravagon is such a versatile player, and I, I wanted somebody that, that can understand changes and read difficult music and also be really open to, to throwing that all out the window. I'm Jonathan Finlayson and I met the most recently. I met him uh, playing in Toma Fujiwara's band, The Hookup. Uh, and I just really liked his sound. I, I was really, his tone on the trumpet and, and I, I felt the same openness with him, but also, you know, his a really strong ability to read and, and deal with forms and changes. And I really wanted to have all of those elements in the music, so I felt like he would be a, a good person for that. Well, when I compose, I'm definitely thinking about these musicians and literally picturing them playing, you know, the lines that I'm writing. Um, so I try to write things that are geared towards, you know, what I think will sound good with those musicians playing. There were more collective improvisation moments on this album, I think, than there were on the last. And I really enjoyed those as well, like getting a chance for, for everybody to, to improvise together. 